on this one we're gonna do uh, brakes so the last video you saw or depending on when this is getting put out the uh, we had like roadside issues so this is what we got now whole new setup so if you need brakes not the water bottle not the water bottle yeah. so not bad just put it all new we'll show you how to install it pretty simple the drums come complete they they call them loaded uh, loaded drums comes with the bearings in them the seals in them they're already greased and everything put that name right so on. you just could see it comes got it right from our everything local trailer you place they had all right so we'll put a link in the description if you guys need trailer parts go check them out all right so we're gonna have mr. muscles over here jack it up now these uh this new setup comes with the grease caps and everything comes with lug nuts and everything but we got alloy wheel yeah it comes with the lug nuts and everything but open lug nuts like for the steel wheels so we'll show you how to do this pretty simple you're going to replace the whole back and plates and everything and we're going to see if any of these had any more play in them which we had serviced these about uh two years ago i think right before we went to florida that so yeah a year i think we just kind of re-greased them though we didn't yeah a year and a half no i did the brakes on them too yeah but we're going to show you how to do the brakes and everything this time okay and then we're going to check out the tires make sure we don't need any more tires uh this like i said i think we see. hit one yeah, that's what happened see the nice line in it. yeah so we're going to check that out and if not we're just going to order four oh, new tires right Where did it go? all right so you jack it up obviously you're taking the wheels off you guys saw us put this back together before but so i'm gonna just do one detailed to show you how and then i'll do the other three ain't no sense watching us do this four times all right so i'm gonna take this one back apart that's the first one all right so for starters obviously you got to take the cap off so these caps have a little rubber center the new ones come with a rubber center so it'll have a hole in it so you could just stick a grease gun in it. it's got a little if you look real good it's got a little grease fitting so you would just put the grease gun through the hole pump it up and it would put grease in front and back bearing so the the actual the spindle has holes through it okay so if you're on the road and you want to just touch it up that's what you do okay so I'm definitely gonna put those back in because it's easier than taking it all apart and packing it with your hand like like you know uh, old school which you want to do that if it's if you don't have um, if you're like we packing new bearings you definitely want to pack them first okay this is not to, to really pack your bearing that's like a touch-up but you want to pack your bearings before you put the thing on okay okay so let's get a little closer here so there's a this little tab it's like a it's a cage okay and if you look it wraps around the nut and it's got a slot that goes into this flat spot it keeps the nut from backing off all right so next step you got the cage off you're just gonna loosen this you see how much that was that's about all you want so when you're putting these on, I'll show you, but you're basically going to just tighten it and back it off a second. So you take this off. Thank God none of this stuff seized on there because when, when those bearings let go, when they start spinning, they seize onto the spindle and you, you got to cut them off and sometimes you even got to replace the spindle. But we got lucky. Thank you, Lord, for that one. And keep everything in place here so this is gonna come off like that your bearing. now this bearing all this stuff is brand new still because we just put it on so it comes off like that okay and this drum got tore up a little bit which honestly it could probably be reused but I'm not messing with it so all right next step there's a left there's a left and a right of these Okay, we're on the pat. We're on the driver's side. That's your left, left. Okay, it even says it right on here. Like I replaced these a long time ago. So this is the left. 
The way this works is this is a magnet. I'm going to explain that in a minute. So what you do is this, you just snip these wires. You're just going to cut the wire. It comes with, new, it comes with everything already set up. There's nuts and bolts, okay? Nine sixteenths. There's five of them. You're going to take those off. This is all kind of greasy because that bearing let go. We're going to check the spindle out once we get this all apart and make sure it's nice and clean. And then I'll show you what greases it and what doesn't grease it and all that good stuff. All right, so um, I'm going to use an impact gun. So 9 sixteenths. Uh, I believe I can uh, check, check real quick. But if I remember right, I needed to hold the nut or the head of the bolt behind but I'll just check real quick and if not I'll just take them off okay so coming off oh, good so the studs stay they got little uh, star locks on them okay, you got one two three four and five this whole assembly comes right off that's how simple this is you don't even mess with this. I know a lot of guys, they'll just replace the brake shoes. The stuff wears out. Obviously, this got chewed up because it, you know, the bearing let go, so everything got cocked eyed to one side and tore everything up. So this is garbage. All right. And I'm going to clean all this up. Make sure this is all good. No metal flaking around all over the place in here that got messed up. And then, so the spindle is still good. Nothing wrong with it. You got your two wires that come from the back. Okay. So these, right, we're going to snip these clean. That's your brake wires. And there's a power wire and a ground wire. Okay. Yeah, the new one goes on. So this is left. All right, wire goes through the hole. It's already wired through the plate. That goes on there. Make sure you don't pinch your wires. Put your nuts back on the studs. And then I'll show you what next. Okay. And again, this is not that hard to do as long as you got some tools to pick up the trailer, jacks and whatnot. Um, obviously, you don't want to have to do this on the side of the road, but you could. So that's why we keep stuff with us. Obviously, that having that extra bearing set saved our ass last time. Or else you didn't have to get somebody to come out there and tow you and everything else, which we weren't that far from home. I would have just had Johnny come and get us with parts. But it's nice to have the parts. You ain't going to wait for nobody. All right, so tighten them five. Five back up. All right. Okay. Now. Wires already in there. How does this work? The drum, let me go get a drum, okay? So there's no left and right on the drums. The drums come all the same. How's the drum come? So these guys sell the drum. Drum comes like this. Like I said, it's got two style caps. We're gonna use the rubberized with the seal. Drum comes complete. All right, pull the plug. It's got a bearing and everything already in there. Already pre-greased, okay? Can't get no better than that. So, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna put that in the other one. Even comes with lug nuts. But we're not using these lug nuts because we have the other ones. And this is how this works. So this is the inside, okay? 
this part of the drum is, is machined flat. This is a magnet, okay? So what happens is, if you watch this, when you apply the brakes, the magnet sticks or tries to stick to the side of the, you know, that inside face of the drum and pulls, right, like that. And you see how that moves? So that moves, right? So when that moves, and then it pushes on both. When, when there's a drum on here, it'll push on both. So as you apply the brake, this'll slip. That's why they wear out. This usually wears out before the brakes. Okay, so as you apply power, so your numbers or whatever you have, depending on how you have your uh, trailer brake set up, the higher the number, the, the stronger this is gonna stick and pull forward, right? And as it pulls forward, it opens up the shoes and applies pressure to the drums, like an old brake drum. And that's it, that's how it works, really simple. Now if you look over here on this side, see that little hole right there? So when you put grease in here, it actually pushes, there's a little tiny hole there, and it actually pushes the grease in through there, through the rear bearing, and fills this cavity up. So, but right now that's full, okay? Pretty simple. And then you're gonna put the drum on. Like I said, there's already grease in there, brand new seal already in there, all that stuff's in there already. I'm gonna put this on and then you're gonna adjust it, you see? So that goes on there. You're gonna make sure the seal pops on and the bearing like that. And there you have it, okay? Now, you're gonna put the new bearing on it, okay? And I'm actually gonna put some more grease on it because I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I'm gonna go pack that up a little bit better and pack it in here, make sure there's enough grease in here. And then I'll show you what to do to adjust it. Another thing you wanna do is make sure you use high temperature grease don't skimp on the grease because it breaks down turns liquidy and then you're done it'll ooze out and then you're stuck so make sure you use a good quality high temperature really tacky grease because when these things are on the road running you're running them up you know I mean, we don't go speeding the, the faster you go the worse it is but 65 an occasional 70 but 60 to 65 is about all we do so now we can put that in there like that right clean that edge up put all that back in there have plenty of rags ready because it's messy more than anything it's messy okay you're gonna take your nut your washer You got your washer, washer goes on there, your nut goes on there, These got to be adjusted. Okay. Like I said, you're gonna just give it a tight, and then, and then just till it stops. Like that. Take your little cage nut. Make sure it's in the slot, and that locks right back in place. It just snaps in around the whole nut. So it encloses it so it can't turn okay and that's it like I said there's nothing else to it now we're gonna put this 
style cap on it. Okay. Now, they're loose, so now you gotta adjust the little star. I'm gonna get the other one, I should've showed you that, but I'll get the other one, I'll show you about adjusting the star on it. So you go in through the back, let me get one, I'll show you one, all right? So this is gonna be the other left hand. So you see this star right here? Okay. It's held by the spring. It's not self-adjusting. So every once in a while, you got to come under here and kind of tighten them. Okay. And then as you turn it out, it spreads the shoes apart against the drum. And you do that by going in through this little slot. You take this little rubber thing out. You put your little spoon in there. And they call it a little, it's like a screwdriver. You could probably do it with a flat screwdriver also, I'm sure. Put it in there and you crank it up and that'll adjust till it just has a slight like right now there's nothing they're not touching you want the shoes to have a slight drag very slight drag okay and that's it and then you're done ready to go hook your wires back up put the wires back on the same way and you're done okay so these wires these just put them on there's a there's no there's no positive or negative on these actually so you just got to kind of just put them back on okay the other ones had uh, the old ones are just black and white but they go back in there all right so they just get they just go on and that's it I'm gonna get underneath here hook the two wires back up and also adjust the little adjuster for the shoes, and then we're done. So you take the little plug out of the backing plate, you stick your screwdriver in there, and you're turning it up. So you're, right, extending the bolt and nut. And then you'll see it. can only get like a little quarter turn on it each time but you could feel it feel that like that right and then I'm gonna back it off and that's it okay put your little plug back in there hook up your lines So now these, splice these back together, and you're done. All right? And that's it. Okay, so hook up your two wires. Use some heat shrink or butt connectors or whatever they're called with the shrink on them. And that's that. So he's over there. He's going to step on a brake, and you'll hear this hum. Step on a brake. That's it. Let go. Perfect. All right. And that's how you do it. All right. So it doesn't matter left and right. I mean, uh, as far as the wire goes, black, black. I'm going to do the other one. So now you know how to do brakes. Okay. And like I said, this, if you want to take this off, you could take that off and you could put a grease gun right in there and pump them up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a whole new setup, the best one that we have clean it all up, pack the bearing, put them little caps in it, and be ready just in case something ever happens. We'll have one good backing plate, right? And one good drum with bearings and everything already in it. We'll just stick it in one of those boxes and we're done. Okie dokie. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave some comments. Shirts, hats, hoodies available. 
give us a call. We'll set you up. All right, that'll help us all out. So you probably just watched the video with Jimmy. And we got that running. As soon as we get this all done, got new tires coming. I'll load the Comet back up in here and go back up to the dyno. All right, check it out.